Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Milwaukee Brewers, Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, it'll be Marcus Stroman. Chris, how about a scouting report? His career ERA's been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Off the uh, the north side Milwaukee. of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Colton. And now Colton oh. Wong. That one oh. misses, and that's how this game gets Where's started. Here? 120. The wind and the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. To first, one up, one down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right, working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. And he deals. That's in there. That's strike two. Swings and misses. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Yelich at the dish. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. The 0 1. Nope. Ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Brewers go down quietly. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Today's starting pitcher, Freddie Peralta. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters. It's extremely impressive, and you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Popped up. Brasso drifts towards it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. That Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, in the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Oh. 
There's the swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. Batting third. The first baseman. Right. Wingo. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. On the ground right side. It's through for a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So a man aboard. Down the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. And a pitch. Going one. Going one. And that one goes straight to the backstop. That's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. The 1-1. One, one. And that one off the outside edge. Two and one now. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two down. That misses, and it's three and two. Schwindel stands at second with two gone. Out towards right center field. Kane glides back. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. And the Cubs score first. It's one zip. Back to back base hits. I love the approach he had right there with that Number pitch. One, Not seven. trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So two down. Here's a speed threat Suzuki. Peralta back to work. First offering is fouled off. Rudder at second, two down. Comes up empty on the swing, oh, and two now. Not a swing you want to watch again. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. It's now one nothing. I get to the bag, get to the bag. Think get the cash and I run it up. I get to the bag, get to the bag. Think get the cash and I run it up. Yeah, these are the bag. Get leave me stacking, I'm seeing them. Yeah, yeah. I get to the bag, get to the bag. Think get the cash and I run it up. I get to the bag, get to the bag. Think get the cash and I run it up. Second inning set to go. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. Next offering is in for a strike. A plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, bro, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Got him. And there's one down. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of moving. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Now it's going to be Willie Adamas. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That's in there. And that is strike two. Nice. 
next pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. That one ripped. Suzuki right there to make the grab. Two away. And here's the catcher, the catcher. Omar Narvaez. Narvaez. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Next right, offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. One, now one and two. Stays alive. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Bottom of the second. Now here is Clint Frazier. Leading off for the Cubs. The left fielder. And the pitch. Clint. Frazier. Swing and a miss. Oh, Strike one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate the right there. At least to foul Young. something off, extend that at bat. Go. Now it's Jan Gomes. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Jan Gomes waits. That missed. That's the ball. Two and one. And that That's misses off the outside edge. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And the 3-1. Yeah, that one is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Batting and now, Jonathan Villar had the day Jonathan. off yesterday. Villar. The right-hander back to work. That's a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Kicks and deals. And takes low for ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Wings through that one. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Out number two. Nick Madrigal, the next cup to him. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. One left for the Cubs, but they still lead it one up. Back here at the friendly confines, here's the third baseman, Luis Urias. The third baseman. On the ground, right side, and that's a base hit. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Stroman back to work. And yeah, there's the strike. Urias on at first. Nobody out. That one fouled off. And a 
foul ball. He stays alive. Right, he delivers. No, foul. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with, with two strikes. You just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. That's a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Wong able to hold up on that one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. First and third, one down. Next one just misses. It's two and two. Let's see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Frazier brings it in, and there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Lorenzo Kane digs in now. He's 0 for 1. And that's in there for strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. Swing at a bouncer. And that is that. Brewers strand a couple, and it remains one up. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a clean house. Back here at Wrigley Field, bottom of the inning. Here's the Cubs leadoff, man. Rafael Ortega. The center field. Here comes the pitch. This one in the air right field. Renfro moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting. Not shortstop. He's good. And stepping in is the speedy Nico Horner. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And the righty deals. Just a slow ground ball this time. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. First baseman. Frank Schwindel. Frank Schwindel. The next cup to hit. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. Hard hit to third, and there's a hit. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Now, here is Patrick Wisdom. And the pitch. And ball one. Two balls, no strikes, the count. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Next offering upstairs. Schwindel, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss, and it's three and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. 
great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. Soft contact in the air. Fires over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Cubs leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. New inning getting started. Up now for Milwaukee, Christian Yellich. That's a strike. It's 0 1. Christian Yellich. In the air, left field. And that'll get down for a hit. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage the spot right, right there. Right. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Field two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. looking and there's one away Willie Adamas the next to hit and a pitch there's a strike at the knees that's strike one Yelich goes ball outside the tag and he's out at second ball to strike that's through there for a strike. One and two. Oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. Up next to Milwaukee, the catcher, Next for the Brewers, Omar Narvaez. He was a strikeout victim his first time. The 0 1. That one no, missed. That missed. That's the ball. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Stays alive. Left hand batter waits. The other way. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Brewers strand one, they still trail one number. And welcome back, bottom of the fourth. So up now for Chicago, Suzuki. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. One away. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet. Just is one of those bad luck ABs. Clint Frazier, the next Frazier. cup to hit. And the right hander back to work. And a big swing and a miss. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Now one and one. Next offering is foul back. Next one is off the plate. Two and two. Rolled over to third. Sends it across the first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Renfro makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. But they're on top, one nothing. Yeah. Who that in the whip? Yeah, you know this me. Yeah. You can't stop my shine. 
back here at the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. Now, Luis Urias. The, the wind of the pitch. Luis Urias. Sliced hard, but foul. Oh, and two now. And it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one. Not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves. But when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. At the play, Andrew McCutcheon. And here it comes. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Michael Brasso. Now batting Michael Brasso. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. The next That's offering the misses. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One -one. Bounced up the middle. Sends it to first. And that is that. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cubs one and the Brewers nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH. Jonathan Villar. The designated hitter. Center field. Kane makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The batter. The second baseman. Nick Madrigal will hit next. He's got a nice, short, compact swing. Doesn't swing and miss a whole lot. The pitch. And that one in the air center field. Kane makes the play, and there's two down. Now batting. The so up next, fielder. Rafael Ortega. Ortega. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him pitch and first offering is fouled off All right, let's go. He's going, he's going. Butter takes off pitch misses one, one. inside in there safely when your catcher's not a great thrower you have to do a better job at controlling the running game and that's throwing over that's stepping off doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off well they weren't able to do it right there they're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game just a weak fly ball this time Juan makes the catch and that'll do it one left for the Cubs. They lead it one nothing. Welcome back, top six. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Colton Wong. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's in for a strike. Line drive, and that one gets down. Fair ball. 
always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's Lorenzo Cain in there for strike one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Wong gets his lead at first with nobody out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. And that's down and away. That's a really good take. A swing and a soft liner. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Now back. Left here. And now it's Christian Yelich. Yelich. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. One run game, one out, one on. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Stroman back to work. Bounce to the left side. Corner collects. Fires over to Schwindel. That ends the frame. Part of the order, 3-4-5. Coming up, it's the Cubs 1 and the Brewers nothing. Here at Wrigley Field. Well, we go bottom six. And now the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. The first baseman. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch. Fought off foul. And the next One, pitch two. is way outside. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit. So he dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. The third baseman, number 16, Patrick Wisdom. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom, one for two. And a pitch. Strike one. You'll war. And this is inside. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Alec Bettinger getting loose out there. Lynn Bloom getting cranked up as well. Right hander kicks deals. And a count one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pickoff throw. Dives back and he's out. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Suzuki getting ready to hit. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal you a bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And the 1 0. This to center field. That is the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Willie Adamas stands in. Leading off from Milwaukee. The Swings and misses. Yeah. And strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he Thank swings you. through it. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. 
In the air, right field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Now batting. The catcher. Omar Narvaez at the plate. A wide to kick the pitch. That's a strike. Strike one. And that one pulled foul. The tying run at the plate. That one ripped. Ortega makes the play. And that quickly two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Next pitch is outside. One and one. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Looking to get the tying run on base. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Got it looked in. And that is that. Nobody left for Milwaukee. They're down one nothing. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the now pen, Alec Bettinger. He's Number making 50. his fourth appearance of the Alex. season. Bettinger. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Clint Frazier. Leading off for the Cubs. The left fielder, Clint Frazier. And the pitch. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Here's Jan Gomes. The catcher. Jan. Go. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Next offering is way upstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Bounces off the wall as he makes the grab. Man, I'm telling you, you better have your life insurance policy right. You challenge the Ivy. There's brick behind that. It's not forgiving at all, but he seemed to be concerned about one thing, and that's making that catch. Nice job. VR at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Hard hit, right side. Into the outfield, base hit. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's Nick Madrigal. The pitch. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. And the right-hander deals. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. VR off of first with two away. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. And now it's one and two. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Two balls, two strikes. Right-handed reliever. That one is absolutely belted. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap.
bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from no the pattern. pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to the right side. They get the force, and that will end the inning. Huge opportunity missed there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the cup. At the top of the eight, here's a speed threat. Andrew McCutcheon. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base pass. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, David Robertson. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Robertson. And here it comes. And a base hit on the line. Just a huge at bat right there. Solid swing from start to end. Now on time with everything. Really good balance. Michael. Nice extension. Michael. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now batting Michael Brasso. And he swings and misses. And it's nothing to warm. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. One and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a one-two. Got it! And one gone. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. At the belt and fire. That one misses. One and two to count. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Grounded to third. Could be two. Wisdom. Toss the second. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Poultry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Bottom of the eighth, and here's the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. Leading no matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. No first baseman. Take your game to another level. Schwindel. A wind and a pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. That's the third. Reaches on the backhand, but it's through. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And now Patrick Wisdom. Schwindel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. The next pitch misses. And one and one. Fouled off. He was late. And now the count is even. Next pitch misses, and it counts four. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Bounce to third, and it's room for a hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Now back. Number and next for the Cubs, Suzuki. And he deals. That misses, one and oh. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Maybe a two ball, five, 
four, three, and they turn the double play. Now, so up now for Clint Chicago, Clint Frazier. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now in the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. That's a base hit as a run score. Well, it certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now it's Jan Jones. The pitch. And there's the strike. On the ground the first, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now, and two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Jonathan VR up to hit. And yeah, he's already singled in this game. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. That one fouled off. First and second, two down. Laced in the left. That's a base hit. Frazier headed for the plate. He'll score, and they lead by three. Goes the third, in there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. The second base yeah. Here comes the new arm for the Brewers, Justin Topa. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 56. So two on, but two away. Here's the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. Good contact guy, good defender. And a pitch. Up the middle, Adamas loves it. They take the force out, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Through eight full, it's the Cubs three, and the Brewers nothing. New pitcher on here, Rowan Wick. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Back here at Wrigley Field, we go to the ninth, and now the center fielder, Lorenzo Cain. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering is in for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Well, a guy that comes at you with one of the biggest curveballs around. It's got a ton of movement. Schwindel steps on the bat. Now one gone in the ninth. Now it's Christian Yelich. One for three. The pitch just missed. And what makes it so good is the tilt and the late break to it. Kind of reminds me of Andy yeah. Pettit as far as how sharp that breaking ball one is. One. It's a 1-1. One, one. Ah. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this attack. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now two balls. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off. Fastball, and even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly Nate with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Renfro takes one off the outside here. Next offering is fouled back. And the count one and 
receiver. Look, I think sometimes it's best to go up there and actually look for the breaking ball because if you're trying to hit the fastball and adjust to that breaking ball, which you know he wants to put you away with. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Great pitchers do in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. So the Cubs.